Hello everyone. So welcome to our reading. Um, you see four cupcakes and I want you to choose one of the cupcakes, one of the yummy cupcakes. <laughs> Look at them guys. They're so funny. So yeah, the reading is all about clues about your next boyfriend. We're talking about someone you meet in 3D. Okay. So let's get clues about your next boyfriend and yeah, let's have fun with this reading. Okay, purple lights. I see you at the piles. The timestamps are as always in the description box. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Bye guys. So guys, we're starting off with this beautiful cupcake. Yummy, 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 yummy. So let's see what clues. First, I'm getting some Oracle cards. What clues about your next boyfriend? Pile pink cupcake. Pile pink cupcake. Clues about their next boyfriend that's coming in. Okay. So, so with, with these cards here, I'm getting what their character, like everything, what comes in, you know. And with the clue cards and the characteristics, we then look at what else is coming in, you know. So, <clears throat> let's see. Also, I want to get one Divine Direction card. Pa pink cupcake. Okay, I'm seeing Earth sign, guys. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. When I see this grounding energy, I always, um, you know, think of Earth signs. So, we're having an Earth sign here. It could be an Earth sign. It doesn't have to be, guys. You know, just know that, um, you know, sometimes in these readings, not everything what I'm saying resonates with your situation. Sometimes only parts of the reading resonate. Sometimes nothing at all resonates, you know. This depends on what spirit wants to give you as information, okay? So let's see, we have the Sing Your Song Canary Spirit. <laughs> we have the Six of Inspiration. <clears throat> and Little Blossom Fairies, become friends with the fairies in your garden. <laughs> this is so funny. <clears throat> This is so funny. So, <clears throat> yeah, we're having, I mean, if we're having here a canary spirit. So I'm seeing a blonde guy, blonde, brown, but they could change their hair color. They either wear it blonde or brown. Yeah, I see Asia here. So they could come from Asia and I'm seeing a singer. Yeah, someone, <clears throat> and this is funny, you guys all probably scream now. Ah! you know <laughs> this is someone you meet in 3d okay so and i'm calling it your next boyfriend so this is someone you will have a relationship with yeah in the future okay so i don't know who this is but i'm seeing someone who is a singer someone who is on stage they could also be someone who does theater you know acting yeah but you know Guys, they don't have to be in the public eye. It's just that, um, you know, they could do that in their free time also. Just know this, you know. It doesn't have to be just because I'm putting these cards down that, um, yeah, it has to be someone famous, you know. It could be, but it doesn't have to be. I'm feeling they're very <clears throat> lighthearted, very light, a very light personality. They are grounded, but they're very light. So they are truly present in their life. So this is someone who's very grounded, someone who, yeah, is very focused on um, the career I'm feeling here with the Six of Inspiration, but also someone you can have fun with, you know, someone who is like a child, someone who is still, yeah, like this childish energy, you know. Let's get some more information so their best characteristic 
with these little, okay, nine of swords. They're not worrying that much. Yeah, I told you, lighthearted. Yeah, lighthearted energy. The nine of swords is uh, worrying too much, being afraid of anything. This person is not afraid of anything. That's why they love the stage. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. They are a little star, you know. And what are the qualities they have to work on? They um, oftentimes speak their mind and they don't think that they could hurt people with that. You know, this is a very honest personality. So gorgeous. I love this already. So let's see what cards come out. What else can you tell me about this next boyfriend of Pat Pink? Donut. <clears throat> okay, here we have initials. So... What I'm always saying is that your, their first and their last name could be on there or <clears throat> your first name and their first name. So this could be their initials. You will meet them at a work event yeah, or you will meet them at work. I told you they're very focused on their career right now. What else can you tell me about Pyle? Yeah, they're nerdy. Okay. <laughs> nerdy and three to six months the timing wow so in three to six months you will meet this person i'm feeling here i don't think you have met this person so let's get some characteristic and these are the characteristic we we wrote together guys you know so those are the characteristics um guys don't think this is one of our boys you know because um this has not happened, this is someone else, but they could come from Asia and they could be a singer too, but not someone in the public eye, I don't think so. I mean, I'm calling this your next boyfriend, so this is not some one of our boys, you know. Oh my gosh, look at this, came out, fairy-like, and I have it here. I feel, even feel they look very feminine, guys. Feminine, feminine with glasses. That's why nerdy comes out. That's what I'm seeing in, in front of my eyes. <clears throat> then we have sunshine like Hobie. So they have a very lighthearted. Yeah, I'm feeling this very lighthearted personality, although they're grounded. Yeah, they're not someone that um, is in their fantasy land. They're very grounded, but shy like JK. Okay. And remember, we did these. We wrote these. And aesthetic like Tay. So they love aesthetics. Yeah. So they, t they take care a lot of their like of their outer appearance. That's why I also felt when I had this fairy like gym and they're nerdy, but they take good care of their outside. <laughs> like of their appearance. Yeah. They're very, very aesthetic looking. So that wow. Wow, wow, wow. So what else? <clears throat> I like that. That's really cool. Let's get some more about their personality. Or let's see. Oh, yeah. That's, I don't want to go into detail because I just want to do this reading, just um, a short reading, you know, just for fun. So let's see what else universe is. One more card, guys, and then I'm, I'm going out here. I'm, I'm going out of this reading. <laughs> what else? <clears throat> Wandering path. So you meet them by accident. You run into them. Enjoy the journey. <clears throat> it could be that they are here. You know, either you journey to Asia in three to six months. I don't know. Maybe you meet them over there. Or, you know, they come here and you meet them. I feel you meet them by accident at a work event. Yeah. <clears throat> That's interesting, right? Man, I wonder for whom these piles are. It's always so cool. You must tell me if this happens, okay? So this is what I'm having, part one. I hope you like this reading again, you know. I'm not doing these big readings because I'm doing everyday readings, guys. You know, you cannot do a one-hour reading for one pile if you do everyday readings. That's just not possible, okay? But <clears throat> I think those readings are fun and they are cool. And I'm saying bye. Hello, black pile, blue cupcake. You chose this beautiful, yummy cupcake. So let's see your person, your next boyfriend. This is someone you will meet in 3D, okay? This is not, not a soul bond or anything. This is someone you will meet. So if you have a soul connection, 
Um, it could be that you will meet this person way in the future. Okay, so you have to apply that. But this is someone you will meet in the future. Tell me something about Pablo's next boyfriend. Okay. <coughs> Tell me about some pile Blue's next boyfriend. Okay. Tell me about Pablo's next boyfriend. Okay. And I also want to get one of these cards. <clears throat> Tell me about Pablo's next boyfriend. Career. Okay. It's time to add extra energy to your career. Maybe try something new. So what I'm feeling with this, they just changed their career. They're very focused on their career and you probably meet them at work. Like by one, you know, <laughs> sometimes we meet at work. And I think that's here the case. Also, this person is very focused on their career right now. Okay. So let's see. We have guardian spirit protector of your soul. <clears throat> this is someone very nurturing. The awakening and someone spiritual. And ah, oh, time to let go the groundhog spirit. Yeah, this is someone very nurturing. They always take care if they are together with someone, you know. I feel this person has a shining from their heart. Someone that loves to hug, you know, we see this time to let go. And um, I feel this person... I feel that this person just changed like when you guys meet they just changed their jobs you know they just they are new to you know the work where you are so this is someone if you meet them and you're not meeting at work they will tell you that they just changed jobs um this person is someone they're really clingy, I'm feeling, because they had to let go a lot in their life. I'm even feeling that they're having lost a parent, okay? Um, they're protected by spirit. This person is protected by spirit. Um, and uh, they are either very spiritual or very um, religious. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. They, they believe in what they do. And that's why they're changing jobs. If they don't like it somewhere... They don't go there. And this is someone very caring. And I think um, from the moment you will meet them, this person will tell you in one month they love you. Yeah, this is someone that really talks about their feelings. This is someone that is not afraid um, to commit. Yeah, very beautiful. But they're very spiritual or very religious. Yeah, they believe. And they have lost someone important in their family. Could be um, a feminine energy, a grandmother or a mother, okay? <clears throat> and they might have a twin. <clears throat> yeah, they could have had a twin. And they're very protective over their family <clears throat> and over their friends. This, this is a very protective person. If you belong to the friend circle of this person or they met you, they are very protective. So what is their best energy? The Knight of Cups, see? very compassionate very loving um this is someone who is very romantic yeah they bring gifts even to dates oh this is i also see this here with the groundhog spirit they love stable relationships they just love that and they spend a long time in relationships like this person has never had a relationship that was just a month what they have to work on what quality the page of cups yeah they're they're sometimes coming across um you know because they're so loving and because they're um compassionate and they're very clingy sometimes they come across as childish you know because um you know they have this innocent love they love someone with full potential like with their whole heart i'm seeing here someone loving with their whole heart you know <clears throat> so sometimes people could see them as too idealistic or too romantic, you know, um, not really realistic, but too much in their illusions, 
Yeah, this, this could be, yeah, that they have to work on. I see this also comes across to people. It's not that they are like this, but it comes across to people. <clears throat> so let's get some more information about this person. Gorgeous. I love these readings. Oh my gosh, didn't I tell you? <laughs> didn't I say this? Very calm personality. Yes. I see that with that awakening. This is someone who is very, I mean, you just have to look at this card here, you know, <clears throat> like they could have dark skin. Yeah. I'm seeing here that they could come from a different um, cultural background than you are. Okay. We have earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I also see water sign. Blue or green eyes. Beautiful. Okay. There's nothing more coming. So now I'm going to get more about their um, characteristics. <clears throat> and those are the cards we did together, guys. Remember? Uh, what is their characteristic? Okay. It says, use me to love yourself. Juni. Yeah, see? Use me to love yourself. They they really nurturing. They are nurturing. They want that you are the best, become the best version of yourself. Gorgeous. Like this person. Wow. This is not your next boyfriend. Man, that's so cool. <laughs> what else? Show me more characteristics. Okay, leader. Juni. We have a lot of Juni coming out, so they might be similar to Juni from there yeah i'm also hearing intelligent you know very intelligent oh, 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 oh. we have acts like a cute mochi yeah i mean I, we saw that right we saw that that's why i said they come across as being very childish sometimes and then we have cute gummy smile like isn't it gummy smile yeah cute gummy smile like tay oh one more so this is, this is cool, right? <laughs> so one more. We have God of Destruction, Juni. Juni is coming out like crazy here. <laughs> God of Destruction. Like someone who doesn't know the boys goes now like, what the heck is a God of Destruction? That's someone that's very clumsy. And, um, you know, sometimes um, that's what with this childish energy, you know? <clears throat> This is someone they're so compassionate they, they want all the best you know but sometimes they are so clumsy that <laughs> they just ran over things <laughs> so what more what else one more card for this pile or oh, two more hearts see transformation so there was a fresh new way of living emerges i told you this person when you meet them they have gone through a transformation they may even go through transformation from their looks yeah and then we have unknown territory you are exactly where you need to be see i think they come from a different country they came to your country into your job yeah I'm, I'm feeling that you meet them well you could meet them at work but it doesn't have to be but what they did they changed their jobs and i told you that they might come from a different country to your country and started all over new yeah this person starts all over new when you meet them they have started all over new for whatever reason. This could be different reasons. Yeah. That's your next boyfriend part two. I hope you like this reading and I'm saying bye. Hello everyone. Your next boyfriend. Pile orange. <clears throat> so pile orange. Let's see. Who's your. Oh, 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 okay. This one wanted really to come here. So I'm taking it. Who is your next boyfriend? Like, what the heck? Who is your next boyfriend? Pile orange, pile three. Who is your next boyfriend? <coughs> Let's put it here. And here we take another card. Who is this person? The next? Oh, wow. Okay. Too many. Universe. Who is this next boyfriend? Pile orange. Okay, 
Please also know that it cannot resonate with everyone. You know, this is a very specific reading. It can resonate, but it doesn't have to be, you know. So let's see what we're getting in. We have the pig spirit. So they could be born in the year of the pig, which was 1995, right? Use your mind wisely. This card wanted to jump here. <clears throat> wow, seven of inspiration. And the gingerbread witch, don't be afraid of creatures from the dark side. So yeah, this person has been to the dark side. Look at this. They're pushing the dark side away in order to make room. And look at these colors and decolors and decolors. It's reddish and yeah, it's almost like the color here, the orange. Yeah. So this is a very passionate person, a fire sign. I'm feeling strongly fire sign. I mean, when I see the red here, I'm seeing fire sign. They've been through a lot, yeah? The dark side, they've been even, they could have been through the dark night of the soul. You know, this person has been through a lot. They always um, have to reestablish their boundaries. I feel this is someone who is not very extroverted because the gingerbread witch lives in a wood, in a house by herself, you know? <laughs> and... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I think they are an introvert. I can also see this with this card. Um, brownish hair is coming through. Very strong, passionate energy and very strong. Um, I see this yellow here. They're learning to love themselves, you know, with the yellow, this, um, the solar plexus chakra, they learn their place and they're learning their where their place is in this world. That's what I'm feeling here. They have, they have to go through a lot of obstacles in order to um, know who they are, yeah? Because the, the pig also symbolizes for me someone who can do everything later in life, you know? This is someone who is um, able to do any job they want and, um, you know, here the pig, it almost looks like as if the pig gets wings. So they need to find their wings to fly. So with the orange also here, I'm seeing that this person is very passionate and you probably, you know, fall in love right away with this person because they're very interesting. I see this person being very interesting, very passionate. They're looking for their place in this life. Oh, I forgot to get a divine direction. Use your mind wisely. Yeah, I think they have done maybe a lot of... Mm, I'm also hearing that uh, maybe because in order to fit in love it's the right time for you to experience a loving committed relationship enjoy it wow they're looking when you meet them they're looking for a committed relationship they're on the lookout they really want this but i'm feeling also with use your mind wisely that um in order to fit in because this is an introvert and i i don't think they have a lot of friends and in order to fit in they did some things you know just for their friends um which were stupid you know, maybe they also took drugs or something that's not good. You know, you guys know I don't like this. And maybe <clears throat> they do something just to fit in or they did maybe in their past. Maybe when you meet them, they ta talk about this, you know, that they did a lot of stupid things just to fit in because they're very unique. I'm seeing this person very unique, very passionate, but not really fitting in. Very unique. Yeah. Very unique. So let's see their best quality. The seven of wands, exactly this card. <clears throat> they know how to fight. They know how to defend themselves. Like um, maybe, yeah, I'm even hearing self-defense. So this could be someone who um, is at the police, you know, or they can do self-defense. Like they, they learned that you know but i'm also seeing this person can they know how to establish their boundaries because they've been through a lot especially with friends a lot of false people and um you know they know how to establish their boundaries they know how to fight for themselves but um <clears throat> they're learning more and more to know who they really are to stand up for them what they have to work on the king of wands yeah to not fight you know, the King of Wands is action oriented, but he sits on his throne. You know, the King of Wands is a very passionate, I told you, this is a fire sign, 
Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. I'm seeing a Leo or Aries here. I'm not seeing a Sagittarius for some reason, but I'm seeing strong Leo and strong Aries placements in their chart. Um, what they not have learned is to sit still. I'm feeling this person has not yet calmed down. You know what I mean? They're not so calming. They're always wanting to pursue something. They're always wanting to pursue. That's why when you, you know, when they pursue love, you will see that they pursue you. Yeah, like. This is strong sexual energy and strong, um, we have the wands like everywhere here. The star here. So they might look exactly as you wish. They love red on women, I can tell you this. And they love sweets. I mean, we have the gingerbread witch here. So I'm always hearing Hansel and Cradle. <laughs> Lost in the woods, you know. So they love to be alone with you. I don't know why that's coming in from Hansel and Cradle, you know, but they love to be alone with you somewhere. And um, yeah, they have not learned to be calm in themselves, you know, to be centered. That's what they need to learn. This person is um, action oriented, forward oriented. Okay, more clues about them. Okay, that was fast. So initial clues, we have S-O-K-N-E-B-P-I-L. So there could be their, their initials on there or yours and them's. Okay, we have a feature close. Yeah, I told you, very active personality, active lifestyle. I saw that I see them as introverts, but having a very active, very pushing lifestyle. They can never sit still. Warm, yes. Hot. I'm feeling hot, <laughs> not warm. This person is hot. Pig spirit people look very hot. Okay, we have an air sign here. So I'm taking this. So they, they also could have air in their chart. <coughs> and serious. Yeah, I'm take, I think the serious is they take relationship serious. This is not a F boy, yeah? They, they look like this, maybe, you know, <laughs> and someone asked me, how does an F look, boy look like? Well, you guys know, they look very, very good. Yeah, they could, they look as if they could have everyone, but they're not interested. They're looking for serious love I'm seeing here. Yeah, very good. So let's get our clue cards here that we did together in one of our lives. What else is coming through from their characteristics for this pile? Next boyfriend of pile orange. Okay, this card turned around, so I'm taking it. Loves Netflix. Loves to hark like Tay. <laughs> Why did we write love Netflix? I mean, everyone loves Netflix. Oh my gosh, look at this. Energetic like Hobie. That's what I told you. And then JK International Playboy. <laughs> and this one we have. Doesn't like mint chocolate like Juni. Okay. <laughs> so all these cards are like the black cards. They're like fuzzling here on my table. Beautiful. I told you this one. This guy looks really hot really hot i saw this in the red cards all red all red and orange so one more card for this pile and then we're going over to our last pile okay so we have passion and pleasure <laughs> i told you savor your life so i'm feeling that you meet them at some kind of event outside event yeah where maybe an outside dancing event where you have fun yeah that's where you meet yeah, you meet this person at some party, I would say. Some party or when they are with friends. And um, I don't think this person is right into the party. I'm thinking they are sitting somewhere outside because I'm seeing this pe person is an introvert. And I'm seeing they tried everything to fit in. Yeah. So I told you this here. I told you at the beginning they tried everything to fit in, but they don't. They're very unique. Yeah. So you meet them at an event, I think, where they are with their friends or they try again to fit in, but they're a little bit on the outside. You have to look. This person is very unique, but I think you will meet them at some kind of event at night. Okay. 
<laughs> I love this. Take care, purple lights by Alopa Brown. So you are our last pal for today, Pat Brown. Let's see who your next boyfriend is. Let's get some clues about your next boyfriend. Please know that um, sometimes these reading can only resonate in parts. Sometimes they don't resonate at all. Okay. So you must look if you are in the travel group of today's reading. What is... Okay. Too many cards. Which one you want? Next boyfriend, Pile Brown. Okay, 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 okay. From the panther to the deer. <laughs> Wonder what that means, huh? Maybe they're very flexible or changeable, have different, different um, characteristics. So let's see. Next boyfriend, Pile. Yeah, okay. Colorful hair. They, they dye their hair. Okay. That's interesting already. In one of these cards, please. Divine directions. Family oriented, oriented. Family is everything. Reconnect with them or tell them you love them. So this person is a family guy. <laughs> Someone who loves family. Someone who is still living with their family. Someone who is, yeah, they do everything with their family. Yeah. They don't live alone. They live with their family. So their family is always around. I can see that much already. And then we have the dogwood fairy. Take time to dream in the flowers. A dreamer. I also see a dog. I mean dogwood fairy that talks of a dog. So they could live with their family. We have the deer spirit being bring a gentle touch. And the ace of voices, the ace of swords, um, very honest personality. Okay. Very wise. They are wise beyond their years. Okay. We have the owl here. The owl could be their spirit animal or the deer spirit. They dye their hair. I mean, I see red here. I mean, red hair. I feel they love red hair on women. Like they love <clears throat> uniqueness on women. That's what I'm seeing. They really love this. I feel this person is around 18 to 20 years old, so very, they are very young. But it doesn't have to be. Please take it as it fits. They're very, also the 18 refers to the moon card. They're very deep. Yeah, They have very deep conversations. They love very deep conversations. Um, they speak the truth and they're not holding back. Like they tell you right away when they like your hair color, they say you look beautiful. You know, they give compliments and they love uniqueness and they love changes this person doesn't like to have the same color hair color for example or the same clothing for uh, sometimes they change up very quickly they love um, differences and they love to change yeah they love change yeah bring a gentle touch this is a very loving personality i feel cancer with a family also cancer vibes strong cancer um could be also gemini because I feel they love to talk. They love to be in conversation with people. Um, dream in the flowers. I'm feeling an artist. I'm feeling someone who is doing art. Maybe they draw or paint in their free time. Or they want to go into a career. I'm seeing them being at the beginning of a career. Like college student, you know. Someone who graduates from high school maybe. Or like so I see someone very young. Someone who graduates from high school and goes into college. Or they're starting an art career. And they did something, if they're not very young, if they're older, um, I'm seeing them, them not over 30, okay? This is someone who is still young at heart because they also live still live with their family. So I'm not seeing anyone over 30. And I'm seeing someone who starts an art career. And that's why maybe they love these different colors because they love to express themselves. Yeah, expression. They love to express themselves. And they're very touchy. They're very touchy. They love touch. So let's see the best quality. The devil passion. <laughs> um, okay. Well, having the devil as best, best quality. Man, like this is you can't escape this guy. I'm feeling with the devil card. They could be a Capricorn also. You know, with a the deer, they could be an earth sign. It could be a Capricorn because the devil card represents Capricorn. 
So they could have the best qualities from a Capricorn, which is patience and um, being grounded also, you know. It's interesting because they are, I see here an artist. I see someone lighthearted. I see someone who does what they want. I see someone speaking up. That's not really Cap Capricornian energy. So what I'm rather feeling with their best quality being the devil card is like um, really being passionate, yeah? With a gentle touch. Well, um, yeah. So the best quality is the devil. <laughs> Be prepared, guys. <laughs> You can't escape this person, you know. So what is what they have to work on? Which qualities? And the page of cups being innocent. <laughs> okay, so this person um, is not innocent. <laughs> In a way that it's not something bad, you know. They have to work on... Like this person, if you meet them, um, they probably go all in with the devil energy. They don't... They're not romantic, like in the in the way that they, you know, they. I told you they speak their truth, and uh, they're very passionate. And when they see someone they like, um, it's not that they, um, you know, they shower you with gifts and they wait for weeks until you become, lo you know, lovers. They go right into that. You know, this this would be a one night stand person. I'm just saying as it is, you know. Even if they live at home and so this is someone that really experiments. Interesting, right? What the heck am I putting down? <clears throat> okay. So very sexual. This person is very sexual. Very good looking. Oh, and intelligent there also. Yeah. They probably also know what to say. With the ace of voices, I told you they love to talk. Yeah. They love to have good conversations. <clears throat> this is someone you meet first um, in a stormy lovers connection. Um, it's not that they settle down right away, you know, or this person, I told you, they're very young. They want to experiment. So this is not someone, if this is your next boyfriend, of course, we're talking about um, a committed relationship. I'm not talking this is your lover, your next lover. I'm, the, the reading is about your next boyfriend. But you might, um, you know, get to know them as a lover first or friends with benefit situation that um where there's no commitment and i think after that it goes into a commitment you know very interesting okay so something with thanksgiving is here so maybe this is a friend from a family well we have an expert and i know in what they are an expert <laughs> delivery Oh, maybe they work in the delivery service. Oh, maybe that's a job they do in their free time, guys. Because I told you they go to college. So they could also work in the delivery service. And that's maybe when you meet them. Maybe they delivered something for you for Thanksgiving. That's in November. What else, universe? Okay, star sign, Gemini. I told you. I saw Gemini. Someone very talkative. And romantic well I don't think they are too much romantic but it fell on intelligence so I'm feeling with the devil card I know what they want you know when you meet them first um, they're probably more interested in a sexual connection you know and they're very intelligent so they could um, you know they could be romantic in order to get what they want I, I guess you know what I mean <laughs> so let's see but this is your next boyfriend so I mean, to be your next boyfriend, I mean, they m must fall in love, right? You don't have a boyfriend that you don't love or you just have sex with, no. So what are their characteristics? More characteristics, please. <clears throat> More clues about this one here. The passionate one. So it says LGBTQ supporter. So very good. Wow. It might be even bisexual. That's what I'm hearing. With a Gemini. Loves tattoos. Okay. Like JK. So they have a tattoo. Or t more tattoos. Wow. Hates studying. Like JK. Yeah. I told you. This is someone who goes to college. I'm pretty sure about this. Or they just enter into college. They have dimples. And then fingers like Tay. What is this supposed to mean? 
<laughs> I don't know why we wrote that down. You know, fingers like Tay. Like, hello. With a devil card here? That's like, oh man. Oh man. <laughs> when you meet them, you go like, do you have fingers like Tay? Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> oh man, so funny. So, what else about this person? Let's see. I think you love this. Oh, what is this? An angel? Open your heart to joy. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Their best quality is the devil card, guys. When I see here the angel and the intelligence and the romantic and then the best quality, the devil card, I know they can pretend to be an angel, but they are not. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny so they're like um you know they, they when you guys meet maybe this person even comes across to you as not as the devil as this passionate energy maybe they pretend you know maybe they're they, they could do this you know i see this with the devil energy they could really um you know try to sound as romantic as they can <laughs> To open your heart to joy you know but joy and delight is their um like that's what they want in life they're not looking for something complicated right now i see this person being very um you know very young and still living with their family and um <clears throat> i don't think they want to settle down right now you know when you meet them they might see you as an adventure because it comes across as this that they try to look like an angel you know so that you fall in love with them and um bring the gentle touch you know that's all about being touchy and and being sexual that that's what i'm seeing here and maybe out of this i mean we're talking or not, not maybe yes out of this there is a relationship coming out because this is your next boyfriend but he will try his way to you know first have something asked from you this is very interesting <laughs> Man, what cards am I putting on? I hope you had fun, guys. This was a very fun reading. And I'm saying bye. <laughs>